in our last class we have already learned about bcd addition in today's class we will learn about bcd subtraction using nines complement and tens complement so first we will start with the algorithm of nines complement then we will solve a few numericals then that will be followed by the algorithm of tens complement and then a few numericals based on bcd subtraction using tens complement before we start again a brief recap of the mapping between bcd code and decimal digits so again as we know from 0 to 9 these decimal digits are represented by 4 bit binary number so here the bcd representation is the normal binary representation by using 4 bits as we can represent 16 digits so the rest 6 digits from 10 to 15 are invalid in case of bcd code now next we will see the algorithm of bcd subtraction using nines complement now how to find nines complement that we have already learned in one of our earlier classes so that knowledge we already have so here a minus b so we are subtracting b from a so can't we write a minus b that means a plus of minus b that means here when we are subtracting one number from the another number basically we are adding the negative value of the second number means subtract with the first number so here we are performing bcd addition only but along with that we should have the knowledge of nines complement representation and when we will be discussing about tens complement method so their tens complement representation so what we will do in the first step is we will find the nines complement of the subtractor or subtrahend means the second number here it is b as the second number is negative here and we will be per finally performing bcd addition so the nines complement representation of the second number and since the first number is positive number so what we'll do is we will represent its equivalent bcd uh, binary and then in the next step we will perform the bcd addition between the first number which is already in its bcd or binary equivalent and for the second number we have obtained the nines complement representation of the second number or the negative number which is minus b here and after performing the bcd addition now we will check whether the result of this bcd addition is valid or not the way we have seen for bcd addition in our last class now after checking the result of this bcd addition for its validity now after that it will have two paths whether that result of addition has any carry or not if there is carry then there will be one approach if there is no carry then there will be another approach and those two approaches now we will learn by their relevant examples so that way it will be more clear to us now here we want to subtract 31 from 65 now in normal decimal number system if we subtract these two numbers then the result of subtraction will be how much it will be 34 it's simple we know that but this this subtraction we have to perform using bcd code so as you can see on the right side we have the valid and invalid range of bcd codes so in the first step what we will do the 65 that first number that is positive so we will take its normal bcd equivalent and for 31 basically we will be performing addition of 65 and minus 31 so first we will represent 65 by using its bcd code so 6 means 0 1 1 0 and 5 means 0 1 0 1 so this is our bcd equivalent of 65 now we will for the second number this is this is negative so we will find the nines complement representation so first we will take the positive value which is 31 and we will find the nines complement so from 99 we will subtract 31 we know the rule so it will be 8 and here it will be 68 so this 68 this value is nines complement of plus 31 and 68 is 9's complement representation of minus 31. Now we will represent this value 68 into its equivalent BCD code. So 6 here and 8 means it is 1 then triple zeros. 
now after representing these two decimal numbers by using their equivalent bcd code next we will perform normal bcd addition now this is the result of bcd addition and what we do we check for its validity whether the digits that we have obtained here whether they fall within that valid range or not 1101 what we can see here 1101 is actually invalid in bcd code and we have 1100 1100 is also invalid in bcd code so what we do in case of bcd addition if the result is invalid then we add 6 so equivalent bcd of 6 is 0110 now we will perform one round of bcd addition so the result of this bcd addition in the first digit that is represented by these four bits the second digit this is represented by these four bits and we have one carry now we have to see we will go back to that algorithm you will see if there is carry then what we do now if there is carry then that result is positive and we add that carry with the result to get the final correct result so now we will do that so here we have obtained one carry so the result is positive and we will add that carry with the result to get the final correct result so again we will have one round of addition so 1 plus 1 it will be 1 0 so 0 here and then carry here 1 plus 1 1 0 0 here then we'll have carry here 0 plus 1 it will be 1 then it will be 0 and since no carry is propagated to the next level so we will write all the bits that they were so all the bits will remain same so this is the final result of this bct addition or we can say the bct subtraction between 65 and 31 now if we want to verify this with the decimal values then 0100 so 0100 is what 0100 is our fourth so decimal equivalent decimal value will be four and then 0011 0011 is how much that is three so here the decimal equivalent will be three and the final result in the decimal number system will be 34 and that's what we have already obtained so it is verified and this is the way how we perform bcd subtraction now we will solve another example where this time we are subtracting 65 from 31 definitely in the decimal number system the result of this subtraction will be negative and the result will be initially in the previous example is it was 34 because we subtracted 31 from 65 so this time it will be minus 34 so what we will do we will represent 31 which is positive by its equivalent bcd code and 65 we will first find its nines complement representation and then we will perform the bcd addition the way we do the rules that we follow and then we will see after getting the valid result whether it generates any carry or not if it generates then we know what it does i mean what we do and if it doesn't then we will see what needs to be done so for 31 this is the valid range of bcd codes and we know this is the invalid range of bcd codes so what we will do first 31 31 we will represent by using bcd codes and for 65 we will find the nines complement so we will take first the positive value which is 65 and we will find its nines complement so it will be 4 and here it will be 3 34 so 34 is nines complement of 65 and its nines complement representation of minus 65 so 3 and then 4 means 0 1 0 0 so we will write that number now next we will perform normal bcd addition now we have to verify that whether the result that we have obtained here whether that is a valid result or not whether that falls under the valid range or not so 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 the binary obesity equivalent is 5 so this is valid and 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 also we know that the decimal equivalent is 6 so that is also valid so the result that we have obtained so far this is a valid result and there is no carry this thing also we have noticed here there is no carry so now we will see we will go back to the algorithm and we will see if there is no carry then what we do so if there is no carry then the result is negative 
and it is in nines complement form. So from this nines complement form, we have to find its actual value or we can say actual value or correct result of that BCD subtraction. So next we will do that. So as per the algorithm, since there is no carry, so this result is a negative result or it has negative value and it is in nines complement form. So from that nines complement form, we have to get its actual value. So 0, 1, 0, 1, we know that 0, 1, 0, 1 is 5 and 0, 1, 1, 0 is 6. So we have to find the nines complement of 65 first. So it will be 4 and it will be 3. That means final result will be 34 and since it is negative, so it will be minus 34. So this is our result of BCD subtraction, but the result is in its nines complement form of 34. Next, we will perform same BCD subtraction, but this time using tens complement. And before that, we have to know the rules. So it's normal A minus B we are doing, means we are subtracting B from A. So basically, we will be adding minus B with A, the way we did for nines complement also. So first we will represent A by using its BCD equivalent and then we will find tens complement of tens complement representation of minus B and then we will perform normal BCD addition on this A and minus B and then we will check for the validity after getting the result and if it is valid then we know what we do and if it is invalid then also we know what we do. And after getting the finally the valid result of this BCD addition, then we will see whether there is carry or not. If there is carry, then approach will be something. If there is no carry, then the approach will be something else. So first we will simplify an example where there will be carry. Then we will simplify an example where there will be no carry. So again the same example 65 minus 31 so final result in decimal number system will be 34 which is positive. This is our valid range of BCD codes and this is our invalid range of BCD codes. So for 65, 65 is positive so first we will represent by using its BCD code then we will find the tens complement representation of minus 31. So we will take the positive value 31. First we will find nines complement of 31 which is 68 and then to get tens complement we will add 1 to that. So it will be 69 and we already know this approach, this rules. So 69 means 6 we know this value and 9 means 1001. So we will write that value. Then we will perform normal BCD additions. Now in this result of BCD addition we have to check for validity. Triple 1 and 0. Triple 1 and 0 is invalid and that is equivalent to 14 in decimal number system. And 1100. 1100 is also invalid and that is equivalent to 12. So what we have to do? In case of normal uh, BCD addition, we add 6 to that invalid number. So both the digits are here invalid. So 0, 1, 1, 0 will be added. 0, 1, 1, 0. So again, normal BCD additions. So here the first digit is represented by these four bits 0, 1, 0, 0, which is valid, which is equivalent to 4. And the second digit is represented by 0011 0011 is also valid and that is equivalent to 3 and now we have carry here so it's even simpler than the nines complement approach here we don't have to perform any extra addition because we have already done that when we found tens complement with nines complement we have already added one there so this carry one will be simply discarded the result is positive and now if we want to know what is the decimal equivalent then 0 1 0 0 0, 1, 0, 0 is 4 and 0, 0, 1, 1 is 3. So the final result will be of this subtraction, VCD subtraction, the final result will be 34. Next we will perform another VCD subtraction where we will not have any carry finally. So we will see what to do if there is no carry. So here 65 is subtracted from 31, definitely the result is going to be negative 1. So here the result will be minus 34 and we will see how to get this minus 34 by using BCD code. 
so again this is normal range of bcd code this is and this is invalid range of bcd code so first we will represent 31 since this is positive by its equivalent bcd code and for 65 since this is negative so we will find its tens complement so tens complement representation of minus 65 is 35 now 3 is here and 5 this so 0, 0, 1, 1 is written for 3 and for 5 it will be 0, 1, 0, 1. now next we will perform normal bcd addition now we will see that whether in these digits the combination of the bits is valid or not 0, 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0 is valid and that is equivalent to 6 and also 0, 1, 1, 0 the same thing so it is also equivalent to 6 so this is valid so what we can notice here is there is no carry now we will see if there is no carry in this type of bcd subtraction by using tens complement then what we will do next if there is no carry then the result is negative the way we have seen for nines complement also and it is in tens complement form it's same as nines complement approach the result is negative and there it was in nines complement form here it is in tens complement form so we'll proceed accordingly so here 0 1 1 0 means it is 6 in decimal and again 0 1 1 0 so it is also 6 now what we have to see is we have to first find the nines complement of 66 so that will be 33 and we have to find tens complement after that so that will be 34 and as per the algorithm since there was no carry so this result is negative so minus and it is in tens complement form so to get the correct result to know the correct value we have to find its tens complement form which is 34 so final result is minus 34 that we have already seen in case of decimal number system so the result that we have obtained here of bcd subtraction this is actually the tens complement form of minus 34 and this is how we perform bcd subtraction using nines complement and tens complement method so i hope this class was helpful for you in the next class we will learn something new till then stay safe and stay healthy thank you